Hello everyone, myself Dr. B. S. Lonely, working as Assistant Professor in Chemist, Karmavi Bhairav Patil Mahavidale Pandarpur. Today, we are going to see part first of Agrochemical Chapter. This chapter is for 6th semester B.Sc. 3rd year and the content of the chapter is general idea of agrochemicals including pyrethroids and synthesis as well as uses of the agrochemicals namely indole 3 acetic acid, monoprotocose, methoxyclor, ethofan and carbaryl. So first of all let us understand the term agrochemical. Agrochemicals or it is also sometimes known as agrichemicals. These are the chemical products which found their uses in agriculture. In most cases agrochemicals refers to pesticides including insecticides, herbicides, fungicides and nematicides. It may also include synthetic fertilizers, hormones and other chemical growth agents and concentrated stores of raw animal manure. So, the agrochemicals are chemicals which have been found to use in agriculture either to improve the quality and to increase the quantity or to eradicate the disease on the crop or to destroy the insects which damage crops. The need of agrochemical is because there are number of challenges in front of farmers and the first challenge is increasing demand, ever increasing demand of the food materials because of the ever increasing population. And if we do not use agrochemicals, the insects, unwanted herbs and diseases on the crops destroy the yield as well as quality of the crop, which in turn will not be able to meet the demand of the food materials by the increasing population. So we have to use agrochemicals in agriculture. The fertilizers and pesticides and number of pesticides are used in agriculture. So before going to pesticides, let us understand the meaning of term pest. Pests are the animals and plants which are detrimental that is harmful to interest of human. Actually, they naturally they are not harmful, but as far as our interest is concerned, they are harmful as they decrease the quality as well as quantity of the crop that we are growing in agricultural fields. Pests may include insects, rodents, fungi, bacteria, weeds, parasitic plants, etc. And pesticide means those chemicals which kills pest. If we want to write the definition of pesticides, we can write any substance or mixture of substances useful for preventing, destroying, repelling or mitigating that is lessening the number of any type of pest on the crop is known as pesticide. Pesticide is a substance which act against the pests. So, pesticides can be classified on number of basis. Basically, today we are going to see three types of classification on which pesticides can be classified. And the first type of classification is depending on chemical nature of that pesticides. <clears throat> on the basis of chemical nature, we can classify pesticides as 
inorganic pesticides natural organic pesticides and synthetic organic pesticides another method of classification of pesticide is the type of paste against which they are used and depending on this type of classification we can classify pesticides as insecticides rodenticides meticides fungicides herbicides or weedicides plant growth regulators etc and third type of classification and that classification is based on mode of action how the pesticide is going to kill the pest or how that pesticide is going to act upon the pest either it should be swallowed eaten by that pest or only by the contact or it may kill by the introduction of that chemical in the respiratory tract of that pest these are the things or these are the points on the basis of which they are classified so this classification we will see in next lecture thank you